It's uh, Wednesday, August 18th, about 11 o'clock. We got these in another column. in this column with the boroscope and uh not seeing hardly any comb so that's why we cutting cutting the column uh high up as, as we are so hey george what's taking so long don't want to mess it up that'd be right there might want to get you you think <laughs> let me give him a little smoke is it on my head? No, that's there's, a, there's <laughs> one. There's one in there. No, in there. Yep. What do you mean in there? In the bolt cutters? Yeah. Last handful of colonies have been quite small. Yeah. This has been a strange year. You know, we had that extended winter, and now we get late swarms. Careful, George. Oh, you just cut a bit. Oh man, I thought you liked nature. Fallen wasn't factored into this job, okay? I know. I got health insurance. Let me show these people what would happen if you did fall, though. I think that'd be a bad idea. Let's see. Where you are right now. Yeah, woo! <laughs> He'd probably hit them garbage cans and bounce off. He might make it, though. Oh, I see him now, George. They're gonna come and get you. In case y'all wanted to knock over a barbecue pit that had about 20 wasps in it. You see that screw up there? Screws are not out completely, I don't think. I want to zoom in on this so y'all can see the bubbles in the honey. And this is what Chai Wee was talking about. And I've heard all, a couple other people talking about this. So look at the bubbles. There we go. Check out the bubbles. All right. See them right in there? Yep, we have bubbles. Can't really say this tastes fermented though. Okay. It certainly has bubbles in it. If you look in there, in the, the back side of it, there, there's a hole. Yeah. See that hole? Not yet. If you look up, look up from the top, you can see it where they're going in. A lot of bees down in the bottom. She, she may be in the bottom, I don't know. If you, uh, if you look at the 
Didn't we drill a hole down the bottom? No, we didn't. We drilled a hole right by the banister. I think I'm running them up. I can hear them. They're running up now. I think she went down. Oh, they're coming down here, too. That they good. You're coming out the bottom of the column? Maybe I'll see her running up right now. They're moving. Definitely moving up. I have to guess that she went down with all the bees that are coming up. A bunch of bees. There she is. Whoa, she's huge. Boy, she's a big queen. Got him, folks. And she's a big girl, too. Hoping y'all getting this. There she is. Right here. There's our queen. Hee hee. Yes, indeed. So it's a little chaotic right now, folks. What I did, I got the queen and I caged her in the nuke, along with brood comb and a decent bit of bees. And but there was still an awful bit left up at the top of this column because that's where home was. So I went ahead and did a little bee quick here and there. Tried to, my best not to get it on any bees. And uh, I took a little smidgen of lemongrass, dotted it, uh, a little piece of tissue, and I stuck it in the bottom of a uh, board on the nuke. So, as you can see, they're, they're orienting okay, to the nuke now. Maybe I'll zoom in. Those of you who don't think that lemongrass works, here's the bottle. I see the bees on it. Okay, they're oriented right on the bottle. So we really need to take that away or we're going to have too many on the bottle. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to leave this set up here and I'll come back to it. So folks, another video brought to you by JP the Bee Man. Y'all have a good day now. i got to get off of there now. <laughs>